So a few days ago, I was going through my FIFA Ultimate Team and I was thinking to myself, is there any way to get free coins in FIFA 23? And as I was sat here scrolling through my club, I found something which completely changed everything about how I make FIFA coins. And what I found was ridiculous. And it made me realize that there is ways to get free coins in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to do it as well. Let's get into it. And if you want to build the best team possible in FIFA 23, make sure to go and buy some coins from Mule Factory. Use that code LE5G. I actually found the method by just sitting on the transfer list and I was going through my club just trying to sell things to get some coins for my road to glory. And what I found was something absolutely mental. So if we go over to club items, I was looking through these club items thinking, right, what can I get these sold on for? I can quick sell this at 485. I can list it up on the transfer market. And as soon as I saw this, Listing on the transfer market, I noticed something massive. So this is the first way on how to get some free coins and I'm gonna show you exactly everything that you need to know. This is the first way on how to get free coins. I've researched this method and I have got it down to a T. <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait to show you. So basically, starting price, 150 coins, right? But if we go over to the buy now, I can actually set this to 200 coins, right? 200 coins. However, if I just back out and say, for example, I go over to the quick sell, the quick sell of this card is is 485 coins. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? So say for example, I bought this on the market from someone else at 200 coins. I could just quick sell this at 485 coins. So I could just quick sell it 485 coins. Imagine if I bought it at 200, that's 285 coins profit for free. Just, I, I didn't have to do anything and there's no risk involved whatsoever with this method. Let me show you how to do it. So what you need to do, you need to come over to the stadium tab. now. In this stadium tab, there are loads of different, I don't even know what you would call these stadium items that this method works on, and I'll show you all of them. So starting off with the first one, the first one that this works with is the badges. You wanna go over to the quality, and for all of this, you wanna set it to gold row. And then what you wanna do is put this max buy now to around 450 coins. As you be able to see, when I have a look on the market, there's nothing there. But if I just sit here and refresh over and over and over again, eventually something will pop up. And as you be able to see, after a few minutes of searching I've just managed to get myself an Everton badge at 200 coins and this is how good this method is. So if I wanted to I could just quick sell this and I could just get myself 485 coins. Lovely. However taking a look on the market this is actually selling at 600 coins. This is a perfect way to make coins without a whole lot of loss involved from your part. Now don't get me wrong this isn't the most coins that you're ever going to make with a trading method but if I can give you methods that make you essentially free coins why would I not do that? <laughs> you might be thinking to yourself though, Lewis, I don't want to sit there and just snipe badges. I hate sniping. I don't want to do it. I get kicked out. It's boring. No, no, no. Well, I can show you something that you can do before you go into a game, which will make you a hell of a lot of coins. So you want to go over to the maximum price. You want to set it to say, let's just set it to 400 coins. And then what you can actually do with all of these items that I'm about to show you is just drop bids at say 400 coins. Whilst there's like 20 minutes remaining, go into a game of division rivals, foot challenge, whatever it may be and then when you come out you'll have a load of different badges sat there that you can actually sell on for a profit and you can be making yourself say 5,000 to 10,000 coins profit every 20 minutes just by using this method. I want to show you all of the other items that this works with as well so moving into the next one as you might have seen just briefly was the gold rare kits. This one in my opinion is my favorite one to use because you can just sit here and some of these kits will sell upwards of a thousand coins so you can actually make yourself really good profit by doing this and and likewise with this one, if you don't want to sit and snipe, just set this price to max 400 coins and sit here and drop bids on as many of these items as you possibly can do. And even when you're looking at some of these, you might actually find yourself some deals. For example, this Bayern Munich kit at 1.4k. I don't know how much that sells for, but maybe that goes for like 2,000 coins. You can pick it up for a deal whilst you're checking prices. So moving into the next one, it is actually going to be Club Nickname, which is going to be the next one. And all of these do have to be gold rare. I have to reiterate that doesn't work with anything else but club nicknames is another one that this works really well with as you can see these are coming in at like 600 coins and people just list these up without even thinking you can get these at 200 coins easily and then after that you've also got stadium theme stadium base color you've got the t4s the animated t4s the xl t4s you've got tinted flags crowd cards goal net color flame cannons confetti cannons and then finally you've also got 
fireworks. All of those that I have just said work perfectly for this method because EA have made it to a point where people can just list them up at 200 coins and they don't even realize it as well. And another thing that you can do is just come over to your transfer list, just click this in and go over to the club item search and go through all of this stuff. For me, for example, I know that I'm always going to use Wigan Athletic, my team, as my badge in FIFA. Like, for example, I've got all of these different crowd cards right here that I can just get rid of. I've got two pages of them. And there's 10 different items per page. So right here is just 8,000 coins for free. Already sat in my club. Now you might be thinking, Lewis, I've been through my club. I don't really want to sit and snipe. I don't want to do any of that. But let me show you another method which is perfect for making coins with no risk. I won't say it's free coins, but there's no risk involved whatsoever. So the other thing that I actually noticed when I was going through my club was managers. Managers are such a big part of FIFA 23. I didn't even realize how detrimental managers were to chemistry and squad building. Since we've had the changes, you really need to keep on top of managers because some of them will sell for a hell of a lot. And there's actually methods that we can use, which can, I mean, I don't know if I should tell you because it is a bit scummy, but it, I, I don't know. It's, it's easy coin, so why am I not going to tell you? But for example, this manager here, this Ligue 1 French manager, he's selling at like 3,000 coins. If you've just got any of these kind of managers chilling in your club, you need to get rid of them if you're not using them. Like for example, I've got all of these managers right here and I'm not using any of them. I've got pages and pages and pages. Realistically, all I ever need is one manager with one nation and I can always change the league. And speaking about changing league, that's actually how our method's going to work. But before I show you, just take a look at this. It. I've got Vieira, who's a French manager. I've already got a French manager, so I don't need Vieira, he's going at three and a half thousand coins. You can literally get three coins, go through your club, stop everything you're doing, sell, sell, sell. So talking about staff once again, let's just go over here and let's just go over to French managers, right? Take a look at this, yeah? French managers, oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, no, 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 450 coins, please let me buy him. <sighs> So as I was saying, if we just go over to French managers, let's just go and see how much that these are actually selling for. 3,300 coins, right? But take a look at the league. I'm not buying that French manager in the Super League. This Ismail in the Super League, ugh, don't want it. But say, for example, I just changed the league and go over to the Premier League, for example. These are actually selling for a hell of a lot more. And basically, what you can actually do with this method is find managers who are in a certain league, convert them over, and you can actually do it for a much cheaper price than, say someone going onto the market and just buying that manager because well that's where you're gonna make your profit so as an example for this if we take a look at english managers in league and these are selling the gold one specifically are selling for about 1200 coins roughly as you can see right here but what we can actually do is just knock that off and just go down here and just go to say i don't know 400 coins set it to gold english managers and what we can actually do is sit here and just try and snipe one of these managers there we go 450 coins and then what I can go and do is go over to the consumable type and change the manager league over here to league earn. Now, don't forget, we've paid 450 coins for that manager and we can go and pick up one of these for 200 coins. Don't forget, these are selling at 1,200 coins. We've just took our total cost to 650 coins, leaving a gap of around 550 coins potential profit. Are you seeing where I'm going with this? So then all I need to do is just come over here and take my manager out and I can put the new manager that I've just got in, in Mr. Scott Parker. And then what I can do is then apply a manager consumable onto him. And if we go over to the manager league and all we need to do now is just go over to French. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. League earn. And now we've got a card who's worth 1,200 coins that we've paid 650 for. Again, no risk involved, no loss. Perfect, perfect method. And all I need to do now is just go and list them up. And I'm going to list them up at 1,000 coins, just undercutting the market ever so slightly. Let's see if he can sell. And after a few minutes, as you'll be able to see, we have sold on the Everton badge and also Scott Parker. Free coins in FIFA 23. And boys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and go and watch another one. You will absolutely love it. Ish.